Uh, Rob from CouponLikeAMan.com again. A uh, little bit of a tutorial today. This is the single most important part of couponing. Inserts. Can't coupon without coupons. Okay. You see the people on TV. Oh, I have a thousand of this insert. Oh, I had 200 of these coupons. Most people think to themselves, they're lying, they're stealing, or they, they know the newspaper man, and, and you know, what, whatever you think. There are plenty of ways to get coupons on the up and up so that you don't have to do any of that stuff. Ways that you can actually help people out and get a ton of inserts. Now, I decided to make this video from my favorite place to get inserts, um, sort of my secret, if you will, <laughs> about about couponing. Um, I think that I kind of have this a little bit cornered, at least in my area. Um, I'm not going to be real specific about where I am, but um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a pan shot. Anyway, I'm at a local hotel, okay, caters to business travelers. You may not know it, but one of the single biggest expenses that a hotel has outside of manpower is um, garbage disposal, trash recycle. Now, this particular chain of hotel gives a Sunday paper to all of its guests each Sunday. Other hotels will give two Sunday papers. You've all been at a hotel and opened the door and seen the newspaper out at your feet in the morning. What do you think happens to all those newspapers? First of all, most of them don't even get opened by the people that they deliver to. But second of all, even the ones that do, where do you think they go? What, what happens to them? What happens on Monday when housekeeping is, has stacked all of the newspapers? This isn't, you know, 20 years ago where you throw them away. You're not allowed to. Okay, you have to recycle those, and that is a major, major pain in the ass, a major, major expense for all of these hotels. So what do you suppose happens when you find the manager of a hotel or the general manager who owns maybe a few of these hotels or runs a few of them and can say to them, how would you like to remove your Sunday newspaper recycling expense completely? It's a big deal with that, okay? And at the same time, how'd you like to help out? How'd you like to help feed 500 families this year? You have a win win for everybody. I, from this hotel alone, average about 250 to 300 inserts per week. They thank me after I leave here. The bellman loads my trunk with them when I pull up. <laughs> they're glad to see me. They're psyched that their that their uh, coupons are gonna help some families. We'll talk about ways, different ways that I donate, and I suggest that you donate. And they get rid of their recycling expense. It's a win all the way around. It's free. Okay. I have five hotels that I do this with. That's how I get all my inserts. Now, a lot of people like to do things like um, dive in dumpsters. I've, I've done that before. There's nothing wrong with it, especially today. They're perfectly clean. And you can get 15, 20 newspapers at a, at a crack doing it that way. Okay? Um, if that's your thing and, and that's how many you feel like you want, do it. Um, I'm going to suggest to you that if you want to get hundreds of inserts a week, getting them from a hotel who has that many is the way to go. There aren't many places that do have that many. Um, the grocery store will tell you to pound sand if you ask them. Um, my strategies used to be the dumpster dive and then... Um, there's a couple others that I still recommend to people um, who don't live anywhere near any any sort of uh, business hotel at all, which really these days isn't for many people. But if you don't at all, you have a 7-Eleven 
where you have a Cumberland Farms, where you have some 24-hour convenience store, which I promise you is paying someone minimum wage to work that overnight shift, and is charged them with gathering all of the newspapers every Sunday, putting them in a trash bag, and then putting them in the recycle dumpster. If you were to walk into that person who is got a crap job, um, make, making his living the hard way, and, and doesn't feel like lugging around into the trash 50 newspapers at night, so I tell you what, instead of you throwing these away, how about I'll buy you a pack of cigarettes and I'll take them. Who's going to say no to that? No one says no to that. You think they'd rather throw them away? Okay, I had one guy do that one time to me, say, I know I'm supposed to throw away, I got thrown away. So what I did, I went back into my car, I sat there, waited for him to throw them in the trash, and then I went and took them out of the trash. I mean, what? It, that, that's, that's not stealing. People had to throw it away. Okay? You're left with a lot of newspapers that you need to then take to the recycler after you pick out the inserts. But believe me, it's fun to have stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and hundreds and hundreds of newspapers to go through, pull out the inserts, and know that when that deal comes, okay, you're going to have one, 200, 300 of, of the coupon that makes that deal a moneymaker. Especially, 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 especially when it comes to Walgreens. Because as, as you guys know, the shop Walgreens, you can spin those things as many times as you've got coupons to spin. Especially, this, especially at uh, this time of year when they start rolling out Black Friday and, and all that stuff. There was practically nothing on Walgreens' list of the 20 or 25 items they had registered to for on Black Friday that wasn't a moneymaker for me. I mean, I made just, I slaughtered that place on, Black, on the Black Friday weekend. So, if you're gonna, if you're gonna really do this, if you're gonna do it like you, if you want to follow along with my goal of making a hundred thousand dollars in profit next year, or in product uh, for free or better next year, you're gonna need a major amount of inserts. There's nothing wrong and no shame in having ten. And there's nothing wrong with having 20. Um, but if you're going to really, really, really go for it, I would suggest to you that a letter and a phone call to the manager or general manager of any of your local business hotels will go a very, very long way in getting you hundreds of inserts a week. And that's per stop. Do that as often as you feel like you need to. They're glad to hear from you. They might think you're a little nutty. They might ask you questions about why. But when you tell them and you explain to them that you're heavily involved in charitable donations to food banks, they're going to love you. When you add in the fact that they're not going to have to have a recycling budget on Sunday newspapers anymore, they're going to love you more. Okay? And obviously you're going to love them right back. So, inserts. Ways to get them. Don't steal them. That's that's just goddamn stupid. Okay. Sorry. That's just that just screws everybody up. You know we've all seen the people picking through the inserts in the Sunday paper. It just it 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 makes us all uh, look foolish and it's not helping you any because it's not getting you anywhere. It's it's, it's 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 a tortoise approach to a rabbit. Okay. You have to get them in mass. Trying to steal two at a time is stupid. Stop it. Um, nothing dishonest, please. You don't need to. No, no putting uh, a dollar into the Sunday paper machine and taking the whole stack. All that stuff is just stupid and unnecessary. Okay. Use your head. Use your head. And this will all work out for all of us. Uh, this is the first time I've ever told... Uh, anybody other than my close friends that I uh, use hotels to get my inserts. I don't know what the tricks that other people who you've heard get a lot of inserts are. They haven't revealed them. Um, I plan on revealing all of my secrets when it comes to all this stuff. Because um, I want us all to be in on it. There's no reason why we can't be. There's plenty of, plenty of room out there for all of us. So, nutshell, 
get with the manager or the person in charge of um, all your business, local business hotels. Um, I, I promise you a conversation with them is going to lead them to giving you all of their Sunday insert, all of the Sunday newspapers. If you'll haul them off, they'll be happy to give them to you. Uh, obviously, you'd be happy to have them. Just think for a minute about the feeling of power that you, you're going to feel when you're holding two, three, four hundred of a coupon that you know is a money maker. Okay. Now, um, recap: hit the hotels. If you want to hit the variety stores, if you feel like you want to dumpster dive, fine. Um, but just don't do anything that's going to undermine things for the rest of us, like steal inserts, steal newspapers. It's stupid. It's unnecessary. And it makes you look bad. I get all the time, where did you get some of these coupons? And I get, they look at you like, you clearly you're, I must have done something wrong or stolen something or whatever it is. And I just laugh at them. Okay? Because when you don't break the rules and you're playing within them and people that just think you must be doing something sneaky or dirty or whatever, it's fun. And they look. This is definitely about providing for our families, but it's also being a little bit fun, isn't it? So, anyway, I actually wanted to come to the lobby of the uh, local, one of my local stops, and uh, sort of do it live from, from the lobby of this hotel. I'm not going to say which one, but um, it's, it, it's, it's an easy one-stop shop. I suggest you take the time to make a phone call, write a letter. You, you can't, it's a no-lose situation. The worst thing they say to you is no, but I really don't think you're going to find that. I think you're going to find that they say yes, and they'd be pleased to get rid of their Sunday papers. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. I uh, Robert Keep On Like a Man dot com. Hope you like my channel. Hope you find me on Facebook, Keep On Like a Man. Keep On Like a Man dot com. Still trying to get that thing up and <laughs> up and going in my, in my spare time. Um, what I want you to do before our next video is, if you do not have it already, I need you to join Facebook. Uh, it, it's going to be extremely profitable for you. I, if you already have a Facebook page and you already use Facebook, then I need you to make a separate Facebook page. I need it to be just for your couponing. We're going to discuss uh, in a video probably tomorrow how to make Facebook pay gigantic dividends for you with coupons that you will not find anywhere else. Facebook's become a huge, huge marketing tool because it's free to the company. It's just like it's free to me and you. So um, next uh, next video will be about Facebook. So please, uh, sometime in the next 24 hours, if you're going to follow along with me, um, get yourself a Facebook account, and we'll talk about how we can make some money on that. Um, till then, Rob from couponlikeaman.com, Rob at couponlikeaman.com. Hit me up. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.